OK, let's look at some hearing problems. Obstruction of the ear canal. Well, impedes sound, so it impedes if you just get a physical thing that blocks the ear canal, it will impede sound, excuse me, sound from reaching the eardrum. Of course, that can include things like earwax, uh, swimmer's ear, if you get a bunch of water in there, other things, dirt, debris. Uh, but you should, if you get earwax, you, of course, you should never use Q-tips to get out of it. You can uh, use some sort of liquid solution to, to drain it out. You can also have a perforated eardrum. This can occur if you have sounds that are too loud. It actually causes a, it vibrates too violently to perforate the eardrum, creates a, create a tear. And a middle ear infection causes fluid buildup behind the eardrum. So it can't vibrate properly. Remember, the eustachian tube is meant to drain the fluid from behind the eardrum, but sometimes when you have an infection of sorts, that can get inflamed, or it can get swollen, or it can get blocked by mucus. And so um, you can get infections with fluid buildup, and then that impedes your hearing. Most hearing loss in the cochlea is due to loss of hair cells. Remember the hair cells, these are in the cochlea. Uh, there are these particular cells that will resonate at frequencies. At particular frequencies, those vibrate, and then those uh, will cause the hair cells to vibrate, which send an electrical signal via the auditory nerve to the brain. So the hair cells are pretty important. Uh, damage to these hair cells can be caused by disease, age, or loud noises. And most of that damage is permanent when it occurs, so uh, your body doesn't repair or replace those. And then finally, brain injuries can also affect hearing. 